thing that the legislature is going to be looking at in October is redistricting. And redistricting can sound a little uh, scary and big, and I think that sometimes people aren't quite sure what it means. So because Hampshire County grew, in theory my district could stay the same, but Berkshire County and Franklin County lost population. Not as much as we thought they were going to, but they did lose population. So. In all likelihood, I'll be adding a few towns to my district to make up for that population loss um, in the other counties, um, and we will see those maps in October. Right now, it's you know it's important for people at home to realize that when we're doing this redistricting. It's not about what the legislator wants, and it's not about which legislator fits which district the best. It's about grouping together communities of interest. So in the news, there's a lot of talk about gerrymandering and creating maps to help um, a certain elected official or to help a certain party. In Massachusetts, we put a lot of effort into trying to make sure that we're protecting minority-majority communities. So that means um, if there is a district, and there are many of those communities, um, that we're protecting them and that we're not um, dividing up those communities amongst different legislators. Well, I think the biggest thing that's also really exciting for people and is going to have a huge effect on communities is how we spend the American Rescue Plan Act money. So there are billions of dollars in the state right now, and the legislature and the governor got in a little argument. Um, but in the end, the legislature took money that we set aside because we want to have a really thoughtful conversation about how we spend the funds. We're definitely talking about things that we could build in communities. So in Northampton, we're talking about the Resiliency Hub, um, which, you know, coming out of a pandemic is kind of the perfect project because it certainly it addresses people who are unhoused and tries to get services all in one spot. But the other piece of the Resiliency Hub is that it's supposed to be there in times of crisis. Um, we know that there's climate change and that climate crisis is, is going to continue and we're going to need a space in the community um, when we're dealing with crises, whether they be climate related or public health related.